Welcome to this video. In this video and next video, we are going to explain how we could model forming a box from a sheet metal by deep drying. This video explains how we can create complex parts in Abacus environment by creating shells from solid. Then in the property module, we explain how we can create damage initiation and damage evolution for a material. And also we explain how we could assemble these parts. In the next video, we explain how we could complete the model considering damage mechanics and predict failure and fracture of the sheet during the forming analysis. As the thickness of the sheet is small, we can use shells for the sheet. The sheet is three-dimensional and deformable and we use shell and planar feature to create it. Then we create a rectangle with dimensions equal to one quarter of the sheet. Because we have two planes of symmetry, we model only one quarter of the problem. Then we create the die. But for creating tools of the process, we should at first create three-dimensional parts and then convert them to shells. At first we create a three-dimensional solid part. Also we create it deformable at first, but then we will change it to a discrete rigid part. We create a rectangle which is one quarter of the die and extrude it with the depth of the die then we create a hole in the center of the die by cut extrude Cut it through all of the parts. After that, we create some fillet in edges of the die. I create fillet and picking the edges, we enter the radius, and the shape of the die is complete. Now we can convert this solid part to a discrete rigid shell from shape shell from solid we change this part to a shell part and now we should remove some redundant faces by remove faces we pick redundant faces and delete them The die is complete now, however the die is deformable and we want a rigid part. From the model tree, we edit the die and change it from deformable to a discrete rigid part. We use the similar way to create the punch. We create a 3D deformable part for the punch at first and for this purpose we create a rectangle. Please notice that we are modeling one quarter of the problem due to two planes of symmetry. Then we extrude this rectangle by the depth of the punch and by create fillet we round the edges of the punch. The radius is 0 0.01 and this is the punch. We should change this part to a discrete rigid shell. At first we change it to a shell and then remove redundant faces. And after that, from model 3, we edit the punch and change it to a discrete rigid part. 
Finally, we create the blank holder, which is a flat plate. Because this part is simple, we directly create it as a shell. We only draw a rectangle with the dimension of the blank holder. And the shell is complete. It's important to create reference point for all rigid parts. At first we create a reference point for holder and then for die and finally for punch. In property module, we create a material for the sheet which is steel. We should define density of the material because we are going to use dynamic explicit procedure. Then we enter elastic property of steel and also plastic behavior of steel is required. I copy this data and paste them to this table. In the next step, we define ductile damage for metals. In this table, we should enter fracture strain as a function of stress triaxiality and strain rate. The stress triaxiality is the ratio between hydrostatic stress and Mises equivalent stress. I copy data of steel and paste them in this table. This table defines damage initiation rule and we also should define damage evolution of a steel. For this purpose, we use suboption and create a damage evolution rule. The type is energy and the change of the behavior is linear and we enter the fracture energy here. Now damage initiation, damage evolution and also Elastic and plastic behavior of the material is completely defined and we can create a section for the shell and enter the thickness value. And finally we assign the section to the sheet. We insert all the parts in the assembly module as independent instances. Now we should put each instance in a proper position with relation to the other instances. At first we rotate the punch with regards to the X direction by 180 degrees. We rotate the punch one more time around the Z axis by 90 degrees. For translating the punch, at first we measure its distance with relation to the die. The distance shows that we should translate the punch 120 mm along the Z axis. Considering the shell thickness, we translate the punch more than 120 mm. In the next step, we translate the sheet. As the sheet thickness is 0.82 mm, we consider 1 mm distance between the die and blank holder and we put the sheet in the middle of this distance. So we translate the sheet by 60.5 mm. Now the distance between the sheet and the die is 0.5 mm. In the next step, we translate the blank holder by 61 mm. Please notice that the created surface for the sheet is the mid surface of the plate and it has 0.41 mm thickness each side of the mid surface. If you are interested in creating element deletion and also showing element deletion in the results, and predicting the fracture of the sheet, please watch our next video. Thank you guys for watching this video. If this video has helped you out, 
please let us know by a like, a comment or a subscribe. See you in the next videos.